Tech Tip Tuesday. Does your guitar need a shim? Well, this is how you check the neck angle on your guitar. If you have a straight edge, it's gonna make this job a lot easier. I don't have one that's long enough for the space. So this is how you can do it at home. You're going to sight down the length of your fretboard. Now, if you need to adjust the truss rod so that it's straight, that might make it easier for you. But you're looking to draw a straight line all the way across your fretboard in a way that the saddles would rest right on that line. So if you had a straight edge and it laid all the way across the first fretboard, it would lay right on top of your saddles perfectly with no gaps. In this case, we also know that the saddle for the G string is bottomed all the way out, but the action is still too high. And that's how we know that we're going to go ahead and need to put a shim on this, even though we don't always like doing it. That's what we're gonna have to do to get the action lower. So that's how you check the neck angle. But that's all I got for today. I'll see you guys next week for another 